So, um, I think he's going to go Ness? Or, it, or it, it, uh, we'll see. Here's my, my thing. I feel like if he loses his Ness, I think he's going to switch to Doc or even Mario. Uh, but the fact that he's just starting off with Ness, he does this with his Nidrin too. He'll start off with Ness. And, uh, I mean, it, it works. He, he beats he beats Nidrin's Fox sometimes. Or, I don't, I wanna, I don't want to say consistently, but every once in a while. Yeah. And, um, yeah. I don't, I don't think I personally have met it in bracket. I think we've just played friends. I mean, look at that. That was sick. He was instant, instant up, up tilt uh, when he got that downer. He, he, he just kind of knows the next thing to do. Oh, I think that was a tipper. That was, that was great. That move does have a tipper. Fun fact. Uh, the, fun, uh, the forward smash. Yes, there, there are some random moves in this game that Marth doesn't have that have tippers, like Samus's back air and uh, Ness's forward smash. I, I see him going. I see some up throws, but I'm not sure if Andrew's just DI'ing out correctly. I really don't know anything about Ness. <laughs> well, Ness has a pretty strong combo game on specifically fast fallers, but yep. Fox and Falco uh, particularly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. However, his immense weaknesses come in the form of the neutral yeah. and recovery. And I feel like his range is just really bad usually. His yeah. grab. And if you, the only moves that are like kind of disjointed and slash have decent range is forward air and dash attack. Yeah, I know. Dash attack actually has a decent amount of range. Yeah, dash attack is really interesting because it'll hit in a weird spot. And sometimes you get sent up, sometimes you get sent forward, yeah. even backwards sometimes. It's, it's just a it's weird move. a pretty decent move. Yeah, oh yeah. Um, it's got, since the, because of the disjoint, you can kind of just throw it out a bunch. I think, honestly, I think if Ness had a better, like, a astronomically better recovery, <laughs> astronomically. Does, I think he would be mid -tier. Yeah, if he had, like, a, uh, if he had, like, Yoshi's double jump or something, that'd be pretty cool. Or something where, like, because whenever he's charging his up B or double jumping, he's just so vulnerable. And you can just do stuff like that, just yeah. kind of wait for it to so land. That was just free for Fox right, right there. Uh, he had oh. all the time in the world to punish. He probably should have gone with up smash. Just yeah, he, he should have, but I think he knew that either one would kill. He was just trying to get yeah, him out of there. SD from Corgi right. Two seconds ago. I what? think he was at like 70%, so it, it kind of stinks to be honest. That's like just just below where you'd be okay with an SD, I feel like. But I don't and know. Something else when playing uh, mid-tiers and more specifically low-tiers is there is more of a mental... Um, like if I lose to this character, I'm actually horrible. Uh, yeah, it's so much more. That's that's the that's the cool thing about melee is there are really only eight viable characters, and if you win with one that's worse than that, you're that person is that much better. Like it's that much cooler. Um, oh, yeah, and it, it, it nice. does it does play a little bit into like your confidence mid match. Yeah, um, oh, a hundred percent. And I think that's what we're seeing a little bit from Corgi right now. Yeah. However, uh, he he's up he's up now for the first time in the set in the game. He's up. That's wild to think about. <laughs> But you know what? He's a good competitor, yep. so I'm sure he'll uh, he'll lock it down. It, Andrew is so intense right now. If you guys could look at Corgi's cam, <laughs> that was shout an interesting upbeat. Shout out to the idiot Chris. <laughs> I see you out there. I know we've got a couple uh -oh. fans to stream. Uh -huh. Checking in today. Oh, up air! Double jump cancel up okay, air. Okay, the double jump cancel with first he fared, baited out the up air. Right, right, right. He, what was that? Uh, was that up air? Yeah, yeah, it was. The uses in, using his head. See, Andrew could actually go out there and just up air him for free while he's charging. I don't know if he knows about that. But, like, Ness's recovery is just so, so bad. So, Andrew's got a... Corgi has to watch out for a quick combo coming. Yeah, he has to worry about the cheese right now, for sure. Because he's in a percent where he can definitely get comboed by, like, a, uh, and an up throw or, or tech chase. The edge guard. Wow! Oh my I don't God. even know. There was, like, a green slash as if he missed attack, But, I don't know. Still living. Got good DI. What? Oh, no, no way. way! No, no way. way! What a comeback wow, and from we see Vivid. Vivid take control. That was ridiculous. He quickly grabs the edge, turns the advantage, what? <laughs> gets the advantage state, gets him off stage with the with the uppie, I believe, and then covers that with the. It was smash. so. That was that was that was that was insane. Somebody clip that. <laughs> Uh, that was cool because you, if you saw, uh, Bibbit was up being up most of the time, and the last one he went at an angle into uh, into Corgi, and that's really what set it up for that for that kill. That was really weird. Wow! Look at the jab resets. Corgi deciding to run it back on battlefield, yep. probably thinking, you know what? I'm playing a low tier. I just need to lock it down, and then it was a close it. enough game for. It. I don't think it was the stage that was a, that was the issue. No, yeah, I think it was comfortability in the matchup a little bit. But more so, probably just nerves. Yeah, for sure. And plus, Bibbit just went off on that last dock, so what can you do about that? 
Right now, now they're tied. But there, there is quite a frame delay on on down air, but it is a strong move. Uh, Ness's? Ness's down air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, uh, he oh, sets up... Uh, the Nair out of shield. Oh. Oh, that forward smash would have connected. <laughs> yeah, I think, I, I'm not sure, but it looked like um, Corgi smashed yeah, the fire into the stage so he could shield, but I'm not quite sure if that's what, what happened. Now, Ness has kind of always been one of my fun characters to play when nice. I'm just messing around. Nice, but nice, nice. Vivid's, Vivid's showing me the truth. Right no, he's he's not fun. He's about he's about to win. He's I mean, he, Ness is fun for sure, but he's uh, he, he's just trying to get the win at this point. All right. Uh, yeah, Fisher, using that Fisher forward air. Up smash, and he just catches him in air. What was it? I didn't even see what move that was. Was that like? It was an air. It was yep. an air. Okay. Yep, Ness is an yeah, that's also a pretty big move. It covers in front of him, behind him, but doesn't cover the front of his head. That's what I've heard. The move also comes out very quick. So yeah. It's yeah. a good out of shield option. For sure. Ness is double jumping and er, Ness's initial jump short hop being yep. incredibly low to the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, if you saw, um, Bibbit did that angle he did at the last game right at Andrew, and I don't think, uh, or Corgi, I don't think he was ready for it. Oh, okay, he saw, he knew the side view was coming right there. <laughs> that's what Andrew now, needs to do. if he could have connected that back, <laughs> he, he probably would have got the side. He might have, because that move is ridiculously strong. For some reason, it's super strong. Alright. Oh, the down tilt! The down <laughs> I love tilt that. Is incredibly rapid. It's, it's so fast. Sim similar to Pikachu's jab, a little right, bit. Right, right, right. Um, I've definitely seen Hungry Box do some jab resets with like all like oh, ten hits of down throw. tilt. Ness's back throw is a very strong. It's, throw. It's, I feel like it's. High percent, it, is a it might be one of the strongest back throws. I think. Either that, or maybe, uh, maybe Doc, maybe Mario. Ness's is pretty strong oh, three though. Down airs in a row. See, he's just re he's calling out Corgi's movement just he flat is. out. He's just like, I know you're gonna jump on this platform. I'm just gonna be ready for it. Corgi needs to uh, figure out how to avoid the jump callouts. Yep. Um, because that's netted him several stocks in the set so far. Yeah. Um, Corgi's been able to do these up throw up airs pretty consistently, but he just needs to do them more. He needs to get more grabs to do it. Yep. Oh, oh, the walk back. I, I kind of figured that was a forward smash. All right. Corgi being patient. Yeah, there, he's not out of this to, yet. Waiting for him to slip up, and then he goes for the up smash. Yeah. Yeah. If you kind of just wait out Ness, that's the thing about low tiers. All their moves are pretty laggy, and you can just kind of dash dance around them. Wait for them to do something, and then punish. All right. Good dash dance game there coming from Corgi. Looking to... He's playing a lot more patient right yes, now. Yes, he is. Those Corgi, up. not much of a patient player. Right. That's true. But I think he knows he needs to right now. Okay. Oh, yep. Good up tilt. I th yeah, it looked like he hesitated there for a half a minute, but also Ness can't really reach that high that quickly. Whoa! There we go. That was a double there jump we cancel. Go. The double jump cancel back here. Yeah. Ness, one of the few characters to do be able to pull off the double jump cancel, yep. and that's actually going to be. <laughs> and that's how you die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> other characters being Yoshi. Yoshi. I think that might be it, actually. I could be wrong. Not 100% sure. He tried to combo the upbeat into the forward smash. That would have been cool. <laughs> oh, up tilt in the neutral. Just catching him overextending oh, a little bit. Oh, nice, he nice shines. off the ledge because he's not strong. Right, yet. yeah. <laughs> uh, against Fox. I know uh, Andrew's heart is probably racing right now. He's just trying to get this combo. Oh, he could have oh, finished him there. Yeah, he he could have finished him. A uh, great drift from Bibbit to get onto the stage after that double jump. Okay. Oh! See, I don't know if you can crouch cancel that move. He, if he did, he probably should have shined it, but I don't know. Nice, alright. Okay. So, what's gonna happen now? Is that. Nope, not no, quite. Not the game yet. He needs to get probably one more of those. A oh, forward air into something. <laughs> Vivid still living. Still. Wow, the not, smash yet, or whatever it was up, from, the, uh, up from the up air. Yeah, wow. Okay, that is going to be it. Corgi takes it, and it's 1-1. All right. Game three. Tied up 1-1. One, one. Uh, Corgi taking off, or I'm sorry, Vivit taking off the jacket. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he is, uh, he's, like, he's getting into it yeah. a little bit. And he's staying Ness. He it, lo it, it looks Which like. I'm excited yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, I, know, it, I like Doc. He's a great character. I actually believe in Doc as a character no, I, I more think, than most. I think he's one of the best low tiers to be on, or mid tiers, I, I'd say. But anyways, Dreamland. Um... Honestly, it's a good choice. It's not that bad of a stage for Fox, but I feel like Ness uh, might be able to live a bit longer because of this stage. Um, what he's probably looking for is um, going with Dreamland. He has more space to move around, but specifically Ness has been kind of, because Battlefield is decently sized, he's been kind of calling out 
Yeah. He's, he's been calling out the double jumps. And yeah. His, and his uh, his movement in the air uh, with moves like Nair and a couple times double jump uh, cancel it back air. So my guess is that Corby thought, all right, you need a little bit more move, uh, room to move More room, around. yeah. And uh, I know Ness is going to live a little bit longer. <laughs> Both hits of the... T oh, oh man, what shoot. in the world? The upbeat of forward smash. Okay, I've ne I didn't even know that you could hit him twice at once with that. I that was yeah, crazy. I thought, I thought is that chain grab? Is this real? Is this real life? Um, yeah, this stage is definitely working out for Bibbit right now. He, uh, he knows the weird combos that nobody else knows. I think that's what he's got to his advantage. No one knows how to get, no one knows how to DI against Ness. I'm rooting for Bibbit to drop off and main, and main, and main Ness full time? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that would be, I think, I think that would be an interesting decision. You know, I liked that. It was a decent mix up option. Yeah, go straight down. He was ready for yep, it. he was. But he didn't punish on it. I think if he would have up smashed, he might have been dead. Not sure. Wow, okay. Okay. Um, Ness, Ness has crazy drift, so that um, air dodge is not a bad decision by Bibbit. He can kind of mix up whether or not he's going to ledge or going to stage a lot of times. <laughs> Corgi shields it, smart. Corgi is at a decently high percent. Yeah. Uh, Bibbit probably just looking to call the, the movement in the air a little bit. Yep. If you look, Bibbit is kind of making this wall right in between the platforms, just yeah. try to try and wait for Andrew or Corgi to. to Bibbit throwing out two kind of risky down airs, leaving him open to up to uh, up airs. Yeah. And what do you do after that? If you, you just gotta wait for Ness's drift, I guess. Just kind of wait, <laughs> wait for him to land. Ooh. <laughs> I, I think Bibbit should be uh, calling out the air movement, maybe with Nair. Yeah. Uh, Some other wall out move. Something like that. All right. Corgi not covering. I'm not sure what to what to tell Corgi in in terms of getting these uh, edge guards, but maybe just more back airs. Those back airs so fast. You have to remember too, Ness has a small group box. Right, that's true. So landing these uh, these Fox hits. Yeah. Like the, the moves that Fox have, they're good, but they aren't the biggest. Right, right, right. That's something people don't talk about a whole lot. Characters like Sheik and Martha are super tall, and then there are these little characters like Ness and Mario that no one knows how to hit because they're so much shorter. So did it? A little bit of a deficit right now. Right now, yeah. Uh, for for an explosive start, uh, Corgi's been able to keep his cool. He's going for a lot of full hop backers and full hop drills, which is kind of what you need to abuse as Fox. Corgi playing immensely more defensive. Than oh my gosh, yes, so much more. I feel like full hop, Fox's full hop might be the best full hop in the game. No bias. <laughs> oh, so he tries to hit him with the forward tilt. I wonder if that was supposed to be an up tilt. Not sure. So this is a rough spot for Bibbit. Yeah. He's now with against Fox, especially a Fox that shows a large stage and is playing defensive. This is going to be difficult for him to come back. And if you look at Corgi, he's kind of in that spot spot where he's just trying to rack up percent. He's not. He might not even be going for the kill right now. Wait a minute. Now Bibbit just saved Bibbit him. Just there. saved him. He's he's feeling really friendly right now. Okay. See that? I I don't even know what to think right now. Yeah. <laughs> Immediate kill throw right there. <laughs> it's just funny to see. He did, so yeah. Fox died before he even started yelling. That was funny. Oh, what a down air! Call it out. Uh, so Corgi's got some nice percent on Bibbit, so he's probably gonna try and go for an up smash because I'm not sure if up throw up air will connect at this percent, but. Oh no. <laughs> nice back air. Very very good call out. Probably should have covered ledge. It yeah. Was the, it was the smartest option for Corgi to go for. Yeah. Um, a good so mix up Bibbit is standing on stage and then. Just at the last minute, wave dashing back and grabbing ledge. Ooh, he probably should have gone for shield grab there. Yeah, not sure what happened. Oh, I think he's dead. Wow, pineapple I'm on his own counter pick. <laughs> you hate to see it. Yeah, it looks like Corgi's just uh, playing, doing the smarter plays. Oh, there we oh what go. a combo there we go. That was that was a nice little uh, couple percent from Bibbit there. I think there might have been enough hit stun to land the forward smash. Yeah. Um, wasn't quite fast enough though, he might have missed an L cancel or something. Okay, dash tech oh, into back air, I guess is what that was. Uh, <laughs> if he just sits on here, he might just be able to, you know, space out an up smash and just get the kill at this point. Yeah. Maybe was confident that he would be able to hit the back air. I think that was a phantom hit on the up B when it hit Corgi. If I was a betting man, I don't see Bibbit taking this. Right, and I think just like that, Corgi takes this set. Good adaption by him. As a 2-0 comeback. So good adaption. After a stellar game one. A stellar game one, man.